This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. I have some good news and some sad news to report today. Uh, the good news is that as you've probably seen by the title of this video, it is a new amp day today. Um, so we'll come to that in a moment. But the sad news is that my little Marshall DSL-1 combo, the amp that I've been absolutely loving for, well, ever since I got it last year sometime, um, used it in all my videos, fantastic little amp, until yesterday when um, I wasn't using it. It was switched on, but I wasn't using it. And... Um, I was sat here working on some, I think I was tabbing a solo out, and the amp just suddenly started emitting a loud, angry 50 cycle mains hum. You know the kind of noise you get when you plug a lead into a high gain amp and then you touch the end of the lead? You know, that kind of nah! kind of sound. Um, yeah, it just for no apparent reason, completely unprovoked, started emitting that kind of noise. Uh, I'm assuming it's it's some kind of valve or tube whatever you want to call it, related issue. Uh, but until I get time to get some new tubes and, uh, you know, get them installed and see if that um, if that sorted out, then uh, that little Marshall DSL-1 is out of action. But, coincidentally, 48 hours before this happened, um, I'm filming this on a Thursday, the Marshall died on the Wednesday, and on the Monday... Um, my uh I, I got a new amp basically uh it's um a, basically a, a blue guitar amp one you may recall that just before christmas last year i reviewed one of these that belonged to a mate of mine called craig and he was uh well the, the worst thing about doing that review actually was that i had to give it back he use it uses it as his main gigging amp and um it's, um, you know, I, I was very sad to see it go. In case you don't know about the Blue Guitar Amp 1, it is essentially a 100 watt amp head in pedal format. Tell you what, let's bring it up on screen and have a look at it. Uh, this is the one I've just got here. The one I reviewed just before Christmas is was the uh, Iridium model, which is the, the sort of high gain metal version of it. This is the Mercury version, which is a bit more old school, classic rock, blues rock kind of thing. Um, as I say, 100 watt guitar. I'll, I'll watch the uh, the review I did of the um, the Iridium one that just before Christmas. I'll link to that in the description if you're interested in uh, you know, kind of all the ins and outs and all the features of the amp. Essentially, it's uh, as I say, 100 watt amp head in pedal format that uses uh, nano tube technology. And um, I've just got this one hooked up today, and I thought I'd run you through a few tones uh, that it's uh, the kind of thing it, it makes. Um, as you can see, I'm on the clean setting at the moment, which gives a very, very pleasing kind of fendery tone. I'm on the PR, I'm using the PRS here uh, on single coil setting, uh, volume rolled back a little bit, uh, middle pick and, middle pickup position, and this is the kind of noise we're getting. Very chimey, bell-like, pleasing, warm, but transparent sort of tone. Um, I'm recording the guitar into Reaper on the other PC over there at the moment. And um, what I'm doing is I've got a little bit of stereo widening going on on the track that I'm recording on to a uh, fantastic free little plug-in, actually, if you're interested. It's called Voxengo Stereo Top. Stereo Touch, V O X E N G O Stereo Touch, great uh, kind of stereo widening kind of uh, plug-in for. It's great for making uh, a mono signal sound stereo, and I've also got a little bit of uh, reverb going on in Reaper. Um, 
So, uh, let's just take a listen to uh, what that clean tone sounds like if I go to full humbucker mode, bridge pickup, and uh, wind the guitar's volume all the way up. Imagine if you put a Telecaster in front of that, that's going to be a fantastic, um, you know, kind of country rockabilly kind of tone. Um, as you can see here, we've got this button which um, gives you a boost, like a little kind of gain boost, uh, gain and volume boost to whatever sound you're on. Let's see what that sounds like on the clean sound. Again, that's you know, it's just that sort of you can't quite define whether it's a clean sound or a dirty sound, and you know, it's it's got a real old school kind of vibe to it. Let's take the boost off now and go to um, the dirty sound. Now, what I've got this set up on is on the vintage overdrive. Essentially, you get a clean tone and a choice of three different overdrive tones with this amp, um, and basically you've got vintage classic and modern for the overdrive the vintage i kind of perceive as being quite plexi like um the the classic um to me has again a very martially kind of tone uh quite sort of um jcm 800 and the modern is kind of like a more of a modern american sounding amp. i i perceive it as boogie sounding but um i have heard people say that it's it's got a whiff of soldano about it but anyway here's the um the vintage uh overdrive sound without the boost uh bridge pickup humbucker mode sounds like this <laughs> Sorry there, my fingers haven't had enough coffee yet. Um, so, yeah, you see what I mean? It's got that really kind of, nah, that martially kind of grunt about it. Let's throw the boost onto that and see what that does to the tone. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, really liking that. Let's go to the uh, classic overdrive tone. As I say, still a very martially kind of character to this, but perhaps a little bit more hot rodded plexi or, um, you know, JCM 800, that kind of thing. And then let's throw the boost on. Yeah, 
immediately I find myself wanting to launch into, you know, um, a bad version of you know, some old Judas Priest riff or something like that. It's got that kind of era tone to it, you know, that sort of late 70s, new wave of British heavy metal kind of, possibly that kind of tone. Um, let's now go to the modern sound, and this is probably my least favourite sound on this. It's just not because it's a bad sound, it's just because it's not really the kind of tone I would use very much, but let's hear it just, in, just, just to kind of be complete about things. <laughs> So that's what that kind of does, and just to be, as I say, complete about things, let's hear the boost function on that. So there you go, that's a quick rundown of the tones that I'm getting out of the uh, the Blue Guitar Amp 1 Mercury Edition. Um, I, it takes absolutely no setting up. Um, you know, I unboxed this. I was going to do a live unboxing on one of the live streams, but, you know, the, um, the necessity being what it was, I had to uh, get it out of the box early and kind of because I needed an amp. Um I'm just using the recording out at the moment, going straight into the interface into Reaper. But you know, it's got uh, speaker outs, eight and sixteen ohms, and as I say, it is you know a one hundred watt amp head in pedal format. And uh, I'm I just I can't believe that I managed to snag one of these. I'm really really chuffed with it. Uh, I want to say a massive thank you to uh, a good friend of mine and a good friend of this channel, um, Edwin. He's called who sold me this amp for you know, a fantastic price, a mate's rates price. Um, I'm ever so grateful to you, Edwin. Thank you so much, mate. And um, Edwin has um, put a stipulation on uh, the sale of this amp. He wants me to use it to record a couple of Gary Moore covers, and he sent me the backing tracks, so I'm going to be getting on with those um, once I've you know kind of got them tabbed out and what have you. So that's going to be uh, coming up on the channel at some point in the near future. I'll leave it, um, well, I'll, I'll leave it till then to uh, tell you what those tunes are going to be, but they are a couple of classics. So there you go, folks. That is uh, just a little first impressions uh, rundown of the tones on the uh blue guitar amp one mercury edition if you want a more in-depth review of this uh, amp then go and check out the uh, the iridium edition that i reviewed last year i'll link to that in the description and there will be kind of a more in-depth review of this one coming up where i'm kind of putting it into a track and uh, doing all that kind of usual stuff into a mix you know to hear what it sounds like with uh, other instruments around it but uh, initial impressions are very very good indeed I'm very pleased with the purchase. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Thank you, Edwin, for selling me the amp. And that's the video for today, folks. Hope you've enjoyed it, found it useful, in informative in some small way. And if that's the case, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not drop me a like while you're at it. Don't forget the live stream, as I said earlier, every Friday, 5 p.m. UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. What a great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. Thank you.